Hey everybody, Fred Selection here. We got another slime thing, another slime event. Uh, this time in our non-expert world, so probably no treasure bag for this one, unfortunately. But yeah, where are the slimes? Come on, bring some slimes. Seems a little light on the action this time. Hey there. I wonder if we'll get like a really fast king slime because of the fact we've got a slime grinder that is killing a slime a second. Would not be surprised if it can't differentiate between... I wonder how often this slime event happens, if it's like once per world or... Really use some more slimes, because I can't... <laughs> this does not make for... Come on, bring it. I'm gonna turn the slime grinder off, just in case it's interfering in any way, shape, or form. It's also not a great sound for you know, all that. Maybe the imp is just killing slimes before I can see them. <laughs> like, as they fall out of the sky. I did a little bit of reading up after the slime event to see how how exactly this works and apparently the first time it happens you you get a uh, king slime after 150 kills oh there's a king slime somewhere and the second time it happens it's after This is fire of fire that we got that we haven't really shown off yet. Apparently the second time it happens it's after uh, 75 kills so I don't know if that's tied to your character, tied to your world, usually that kind of stuff is tied to your... Alright so he's down we got a slime hook. What is going on? Okay. Very confusing fight. Alrighty, so we got another solidifier. Okay, so just solidifiers just raining from the sky. That's kind of cool because they used to be like super hard to get. We don't. I think they sell for like three gold. We don't need a million of them. They look neat. I'm not gonna sell it right this second, but I might sell it later. So we really don't need. Eh, two gold. Yeah, I'll hang on to it. Slime hook's not like super important. Can go live there. And I'll put this little fire in here. I don't need a place for it right right now, I guess. Where's my blocks chest? Oh, I've got a chest for blocks. There we go. Put the smooth marble away. I really would like a Blood Moon. I haven't gotten a Blood Moon in a while. Uh, but I really would like one because I want that new piggy bank still. I have no idea what we're doing. I just turned the recording on because I saw a slime was falling from the sky. Um, we kind of done... We've kind of done like... I don't know. We could go do the jungle. Let's go check out the jungle, see if there's anything cool going on over there. Not really feeling like going back to expert mode right this second. Oh, you know what we should do? We should look for some sky islands. Potions. Yeah, we've got an imp to protect us. Oh, we got an achievement for going up that high. Is that really the top of our world? Our world seems really short. Hmm. 
I'm not going to worry about the Harpy for now. We can try throwing fireballs at it if it comes close, I guess. I'll let my imp deal with it. Maybe the Dark Lance? Yeah, the Dark Lance seems to be... At least we can kind of hit it when it comes near. Huh. No Sky Island so far. keep seeing those fireballs and for some reason they're registering in my mind as wyverns so I'm just getting like super terrified that there's like a wyvern like right on top of me so a gravitation potion should be enough to search like I was gonna say uh... Uh, sky islands look pretty much the same as always exactly the same as always uh, and star fury is pretty much same as always but eh, still like getting it I don't think we're going to be using a... Well, I might use a Star Fury occasionally. I keep trying to think of, like, will this weapon work versus Medusa? But Star Fury won't. Because, I mean, you could point the stars at her, but then you'll be pointing your body at her. They really did not think through Medusa. I'm still super salty about that enemy. There's often... It seems like there's often a Sky Island above the dungeon. Maybe I'm crazy for thinking that. Oh, our potion is going to take us... About to the edge of the... Probably like a little bit past the edge of the world. Like we'll be able to warp back and maybe get like a little bit more... Uh, just about to the edge of the world. And this was the ocean with no chests in it, unfortunately. Oh, you can't use the fire of fire in the water, I guess. That makes sense. Yeah, nothing to really do down here with the no chests and stuff. Think of that stuff, whatever it is. Okay, let's get out of here. I bought a teleportation potion. And unfortunately, it put us in water. It's not where you want to be. I was hoping this would teleport us to somewhere, like, really interesting. But it looked like it just brought us kind of into, like... I mean, it's an area that we not really end up exploring on other terms. So I guess it's kind of cool that we ended up here. We want to dig down and just like see what randomly might be here. Sure, why not? I would really like a balloon, so maybe this is a waste of time. Yeah, screw it. We don't need to be digging through random stuff. Heavy Star Fury. Not a great reforge for the Star Fury. Oops. Didn't really want to put potions away. I'll give it I'll give the Star Fury one one whack with the Goblin Tinker. Nimble's fine. I don't think it's gonna does it deserve to go in the hot bar? I mean I'm mm, Yeah, over the axe. I'm never gonna use an axe over Star Fury. Alrighty, so I guess we're going the other way this time. It seems like Darklands gives off, gives off more light than it used to. Hey, here's the Sky Island pretty fast. If you're ever trying to figure out how to... Oh, we got a balloon. 
We're good. If you're ever trying to figure out how to like uh, land on a sky island without hurting yourself, the trick is pretty much to like toggle back and forth, like tap up quickly a few times in succession. Uh, that'll kill all your momentum if you're trying to like hit a sky island without having a jump left or a grapple left. You can kill your momentum as long as you have a little bit of gravitation potion left by toggling up. And I only if you have gravitation potion. You can't. Toggling up will, you know, hitting the up key or the W key or whatever will not do anything if you do not have a gravitation potion on. Or a gravity globe, which is apparently a thing. I think that's a thing now. Is that a 1.3 thing or is that still just like a developer thing? Technically, I feel like the gravity globe's basically in 1.2. Like, I, I never used it, but I know that so many people just like hacked it in for challenge runs or various things. Oh, hey, we're lucky. This is a... So sometimes these worlds, uh, these small worlds only have two sky islands, but it looks like we get lucky and we have three. Whoa. Um, no, that's not okay. That's kind of like a empty sky island. I guess they thought that'd be cool for... Oh, I get it. I get it. It's for fishing. That makes sense. They gave us a sky island to fish on, so when we have a fishing quest in the sky, we don't have to, like, build some nonsense. That makes sense. That's nice of them. A little weird. It'd be nice if there was some loot up there, but... Yeah, that's a cool cool feature, I guess. So are small worlds really predictable now? Or are they, like, always going to be two Sky Islands and that? Because I, I would miss three Sky Island worlds because it's nice to get... We're about to be out of buff, so we should... Probably try and find a... Yeah, I guess it's going to be it for this world. That's fine. We can get a horseshoe elsewhere, and I don't really care if we get a horseshoe. Pretty sure we're over the ocean, so I, yeah, we're, we're fine. Have we not been this ocean? Okay, all right. Yes, water walking boots, that's amazing. I didn't realize that we had been in this ocean. That's fantastic. Is there anything else, anything else? There's one more chest. Eh, breathing reed, whatever. A lot of the ocean chests don't have very good stuff, so breathing reed's fine. Water walking boots, uh, we have, let's go make a, like, a bad obsidian skull. Or maybe a good one, who knows. Mining up a bunch of obsidian, by the way, is a great way to get, like, an early, like, warding accessory. Because you can, you can just, like, make a bunch of them. Quick, Man, that's not bad, but we're gonna just use it for some precise obsidian water walking boots. Then if we get a lava charm, I'm pretty sure that's still the only thing you can make out of these. I should probably should, I should be showing like way more stuff to the guide than I am because there is reason to. Ah, uh, still just lava waders. I kinda, I kinda suspected. This little area is getting full fast. Lava waders. That's actually, I mean, it could be. It could be a big part of like being down there in mining, but I don't think, I don't think I'm gonna carry that around. I, no, yes I am, what am I talking about? Of course I am. Uh, shoot. Why do I, why am I carrying shoe spikes? I don't need shoe spikes. Give the new item use over shoe spikes. So we need, uh, okay, so now, do I want to make a blizzard and a balloon give up four defense, or do I want to make a cloud and a balloon? 
I think I'm gonna make the cloud in a balloon because even though blizzard in a balloon would be better. Uh, you know, no, I can give up a little bit of defense. It's unfortunate, but in if I'm playing the long game, like this will be. Eh, menacing is not a bad reforge. Like, eventually, probably pretty soon, I'm going to ditch that Cloud in a Bottle for just the Blizzard. And when I do, I'm going to be happy that I have the... Uh, Blizzard in a Balloon instead of a Cloud in a Balloon. Alrighty, so that's pretty much... All the stuff that I could think of to do here. Maybe I shouldn't have walked back. Maybe I should have stayed in the... in that area. I'm gonna take off these shadow dies because I don't like them. I mean, they're they're a neat idea if I ever wanted to be like completely invisible, but I can't think of a. I'm sure that they appeal to someone, but I can't think of a time when I'd I'd want them at the moment. Do I really not have a shoe spike in the thingy? I guess I don't. Uh, probably over on the other world still. That's fine. Hmm. I mean, I could go down to hell and look for another shadow chest for a little bit. Test out these uh, obsidian water walking boots. Although lava waders would be so much nicer. If only I could find a lava charm. Slowly falling down. You know, I should search the ice for flurry boots because because I should. I just need to find more golden chests. I need to find Hermes boots at some point. Although it's kind of a kind of a boring venture to like be. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, I don't have the. That's silly of me. I have to actually put these on for them to do anything, so... Yeah. Now we... Whoa! What? Hold on. These used to let you walk on lava. Do they not let you walk on lava anymore? Uh, that's an interesting change. It makes sense, but... Dang, like, that's not... Well, Lava Waders just got a lot cooler. <laughs> because that's a big nerf. That's a huge nerf. Like, that almost makes them useless. Like, who wants to walk on regular water? I mean, in real life, sure, I'd be happy to walk on water, I guess. I don't know what... It's a strange tangent. But in the game, I only want to walk on lava. Walking on water is... I'm indifferent, you know, it is, it's whatever. Ooh, a bed. I don't have a bed yet. I'll, I'll take that lava bed. It's not exactly my style, but it's a bed. Or obsidian bed, or whatever it's called. So I don't think I want to, like, take this world into hard mode before I do more in, ex in the expert area. So I'm going to try and, like, take the advantages I've, I've given myself by coming over here and next time this is a weird house a very weird house it's funny like I can't always tell what's like an intentional 1.3 change and what's like a new error like a world generation issue I'm not sure why I'm getting Hellstone. I think I have plenty of Hellstone. I don't want, like, the armor or anything. Eh, you never know. Maybe maybe I'll want the armor at some point. Ooh, Shadow Chest. Lots of, lots of Shadow Chests on this world. We haven't explored that much of Hell. But we already found four? That's really good. <sighs> New item! Wooden arrows turns into flame wing bats. Do we have any wooden arrows? 
Oh, we got Hellfires. Can we fire it? This seems neat. Wow, those have crazy knockback. Wait, are those just normal Hellfire arrows that it's firing? So it only turns wooden arrows into flaming bats. Oh, that's actually an awesome change. So it used to be that um, really good arrows would get wasted if you used, like, an ice bow or some kind of, like, techie kind of, like, pulse bow or something. Uh, bone bow or whatever. It was called marrow. But now it looks like only wooden bows get turned into stuff, which it, wooden arrows, which is normally going to be helpful, I think. Normally that's going to mean that you get a little bit of, uh... Let's teleport back. I'm probably going to die, but, eh. Or not. One of the cool things about the new update, by the way, say I put all my money away, like I've got zero money on me right now. The nurse will heal me from my reserves. So handy. I love that change. But yeah, I, I definitely think I'm gonna try out this bow. Let's get some actual like, and hellstone bricks look like the old explosive art. All right, so we had Hellfire arrows. Now we're gonna try wooden arrows, and I guess I'll move. I'll move like flares into here. Put the the artery away for now. So this turns them into flaming bats. That's wild. I wanna I wanna go test this out on like an enemy. Give me like an enemy to fight. Any old enemy will do. All right, might have to unsummon my imp because my imp is just like tanking everything. Or not tanking, but DPSing everything before I can touch it. It's funny, whenever you look for a weapon, like whenever you have a weapon and are just like looking to test it out, you run into nobody. There's nobody around. Like the game is suddenly like, nah, enemies aren't a thing. What are you talking about? Enemies in Terraria? Oh, hey, uh, Harpy. Um, these bats aren't that impressive. I just... Well, that one hit twice. That's kind of neat. But they don't home or anything. I like homing in my Terraria. That's still neat, I guess. How fast can it fire? Oh, wow, it can fire really fast. Okay. I'll have to keep that in mind. Because wooden arrows are so easy to make, so easy to come by. I think they actually made the recipe for them easier now. Like... See if I can craft them. I don't have probably. I'm probably missing like stone or yeah. I don't have any. Oh, I've got stone in my inventory. I'm not at a workbench though. I think you need to be at a workbench to craft them, which is weird because you can make a ton of other arrows by hand. All right, show me some enemies. I know I just killed a bunch with Dark Lance, but I, I wasn't thinking. What can I say? I want to, like, fire... I want to find something really strong and just, like, fire that's a bunch. This is a nice cave system. It's really, like, empty. And wide. It almost looks like someone's been down here already. Like, it's so, like, perfect. Okay, this guy's a good target. That wrecked him. All right, I am interested. I'm officially interested. Hey, band of regen. Uh, what can I put on the band of regen instead of like? Is the band of regen better than four defense? 
Yeah, I'm gonna say it is, especially with a good reforge, a good modifier. I like these little themed houses. They're really neat. Is this like a separate house? Is it gonna have a separate loot? Yes, it is. Ah, uh, still no Hermes boots. Oh, you got some arrows. I know blowpipe sell for 20 silver. Don't worry, I'll sell it. Where is it? Oh, right there. All right, on that frugal note, I'm going to call this episode. I think we got a lot done. I don't really remember what we did. But, pro oh, yeah, we got a balloon. Yeah. So, anyway, see you guys next time.